let's jump right into this and talk about the markets and then do some trading. We, the markets are actually down right now after being up quite a bit. It's interesting, we've had some decent two-sided action this morning. We'll see how it continues to play out. The biggest issue that I see on the board, if, if, uh, if you have corn on, then that position is, is causing a problem today. And I know a number of, a number of us have corn on this morning. So corn is, was down over 5%. It's down 4.5% now, and it's dropped really fast. It was actually up this morning a little bit or just a, a little bit flat this morning and you can see how this red this red candle here has developed it dropped pretty quickly and it's bouncing off it's it's 50-day moving average which is this bluish line that you see here so it could be so some some support but we're going to make an adjustment anyway this morning just to be proactive because we still have 31 days in this trade so let's jump over to this Tastyworks platform, and this is the trade here. We were actually up on this, on this, on this today, and you can see it's wiped out a lot of our profits um, on it this morning. So let's jump up, let's jump over here, and let's do an adjustment on this. So what we're going to do is a small adjustment in concert that you can do on the Tastyworks platform using options on futures. If you are not aware of this type of process, we do have a YouTube video on how to adjust um, options on futures using the Tastyworks platform. And then we also have it in lesson seven. It's the second video in course one in lesson seven. You can look at how to adjust this. So we're gonna do this in, we're gonna do this in concert. We're just gonna do a small adjustment. We're at the 30 Delta now. This is the, the upper level of the yellow zone, as you guys know. So we're not in a problem yet. We, and, and this is what's, what's good about how we trade is that we can have big moves like this and we can still be okay. And as you can see, it's actually been going down um, for, for a while now. Most of these days have been down and these days, these down days have been a lot bigger than the up days. So we're gonna try to recently, and I was just looking at, this, you know, the last week or two right there, you can see that those, those, those candles um, have been, the bread candles have been a lot bigger than those green candles there. So it's, it's, it's lost its, its luster up to the upside, which was really super strong, right? This is the type of pullback you should expect when you're dealing with indexes or commodities like this. Look at that. That was an amazing move though. Now it's, it's given a lot of that back and, um, that is understandable. All right, so let's jump over here. What we're going to do is a small adjustment in concert. We're going to sell this and buy this, and then we're going to make it two contracts. That's what we have. That's going to cost us about, after fees and commissions, about 128, 130. If we can't get filled, let's see what happens here. And we might have to give up a little to be able to get filled. And so let's let's do that. And let's go right here. And now it's going to be about 140, 141. Let's round it to 141. And still no love as this drops a little bit more, going towards 5% again. And let's let that sit for a quick second and see if they will give us that at that price. It looks like they're they're going to be a little. They're gonna they're gonna make you you're gonna make you um, give up some to be able to get filled at that. So we're going to give it one more second here and see if that's going to jump up. We, we're going to go to some trade ideas here in a second and see if we can put on some stuff as well. But hoping to get filled on this without having to move that up a little bit more. Um, and it's not going to be the case because this is going to fall a little bit more today, at least for right now. Um, people are panicking in that in that corn and getting out of it. It was going up way too much. Now it's it's going down really fast. So we're going to adjust this one more time. We should get filled here. Unfortunately, it's gonna cost us about 154 and we got filled. So we went from a 30 Delta to a 24. We just went into the, the mid range of the yellow zone, everyone. So we didn't move it a lot. We're gonna let it play out, see what happens um, tomorrow. But we also gonna move up this call side, this, this call side here. Um, and so we need 150, we need 154 dollars, everyone. So moving it up, let's say if we went to this um, 20 delta here, and we did a 10, 
a 10 or 20 point wide spread. So that'd be this did two contracts. We need 153. That's not going to do it or 154. It's not going to do it. So we're going to have to go up a little higher, everyone. And I'm OK with doing that. I'm going to go all the way up to this um, this 685 and then you'll see that that will give that would give us what we need if we can get filled it's going to be some slippage going on here because we can't do this in concert we can't do a big adjustment in concert here so what we're going to do is take this off we're going to take these two off and then we're going to put them back on at a price that we can get filled at so that is not going to work there let me just try something real quick everyone did that that's just not enough premium it's going to give me a credit if i moved up it's the eight delta if i move this up to the 20 delta and did a 20 point wide spread and did two contracts what would that do for me that would give me 80 dollars and 250 so i can only go to the 20 there and that's 280 to have to jump up significantly before that becomes a problem if i did this i can actually add two more contracts to the to the call side with 31 days to go, betting that I would be able to get out of this position without a problem, which is an eight delta right now. Let's see how much is left on that put side in here. And um, so if we go here, you can see that's the put side, excuse me, the call side. So how much is left in there? It's about $81 left on that. So it's not a lot, um, but it's still a little bit there. We could add to that call side and, and potentially deal with less slippage if we did that. And you can see how it's falling now. Um, so you, you, if you have a position on, you can copy me on this or you can just roll it up to a higher delta. I'm gonna go to this 20 delta and I'm actually gonna execute what I'm looking at here. And I'm gonna keep the other one on there because I can do, I can probably do that with less slippage. So let's see, uh, we, need, we need 154, we send this here and we got filled right away so um now i have the now i have paid for that position um yeah i added a couple more contracts but i'm i'm okay with that risk for the short for the you know it's just a short period of time it's temporary all right so we're going to go here we're going to look at this you can see that we have collected about 60 what about 50 dollars 53 dollars we collected in adjusting this this uh this morning, we're taking this number, subtracting these, so about $53. So um, that's what we've done on the corn side. So, and you can see corn has dropped back down below 5%. It's a pretty big move. I think we, we're gonna let this sit as corn, corn ends at about 115. We're gonna let it sit, but now we're at, you can see we're at the 26, we moved it a little bit. And the last time it was at the 585, we can just go to this 50 day moving average. The 50 day moving average on here is, it's the 619, right? So it's trading at just above that 619. So um, if we can hold that 50 day moving average, once again, it's this bluest line, we should be okay with that trade. All right, so, and we got plenty of uh, firepower to be able to move that put side again if we needed to. Um, and we'll see how that plays out. 31 days ago, hopefully we can get out of this within the next 11 or so uh, days. All right, so let's look at some let's look at some trade ideas. So this is a ETF, the the energy sector ETF, the L, the XLE, and we're looking at 31 days this time. And then, so what we were thinking about is doing a naked put to own, right? So we're calling this a yellow highlighted trade. You, if you okay with taking ownership of the of this, this is great. It's going to pay you a dividend. And you can write covered calls against. So you can do collars. I like this as a long-term play. If you're okay with earn, owning 100 shares, so you'll sell the the 50 strike, and you would do it at the mid, which is 125. So you can see this. You're getting way more than 12% on your buying power to initiate this trade. And this is a naked put, everyone. This is a naked put to own. All right. So I really like this trade. We might actually do this one as well. This is a yellow highlighted trade. And you can, if we go to the chart here, you can see that 50 strike for the, um, it's it's a little higher, obviously, but we're okay with owning it, so you can be high on that. So the 50, the 50 mark is basically the, let me see, where are we at with the 50? That's basically the 50-day moving average, right? The 50-day moving average is at the 50.19. So 
you you're selling the the, the 50 day moving average and if it drops below that that's fine you're okay with owning it if it bounces back above it that's fine as well because you can make a hundred and twenty five dollars if you get this mid with 31 days i like this trade you don't have to stay in it the whole time but if you okay with owning it just consider you can then you'll stay on it obviously until you take ownership of the shares sorry also, how many days was the xle xle was 31 days okay, xle okay. is xle is 31 days so i like that trade um mm i'm probably gonna if you're doing it i'm probably gonna do that with you um I consider I the yellow. Gonna try it too. Okay, you're gonna try it too. Okay, perfect. So just keep in mind that if you if you take on if you have to take ownership of it, it's it's going to it's gonna require about it's not gonna require the 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 max potential loss, which is zero, but it's gonna um, more than likely require require more than it's 858. And let me just exp let me just show you that if we hit right here and we bought this right here. Um, if we bought 100 shares of this XLE right now, um, then they require about 2,500 in buying power. It's not going to require the max loss because that's going to zero, and you know these indexes don't go to zero. So this, I think, is a good play long term if you're okay with having 100 shares. But the probability of it expiring, it's only a it's it's a 65% chance you're going to win on the trade. Um, and it's only a 35% chance it's going to expire below the, the 50 strike within the next 31 days. So I really like that trade. All right. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to put that in as well with everyone else or I don't know about everyone else, but I like this trade for at least a short period of time, 31 days. And I'm going to put it in at the mid, we're going to send that and I got filled right away. <laughs> I filled at 125. You guys put at 125. I did as well. Um, so there we go. And this is the last trade, and it's an it's a yellow highlighted trade. This is in the Nasdaq. This is doing a no upside risk iron condor. So this is going to be 38 days to go expiration, and we are selling the 14 100 on the call side. This will be above its all time high. Um, and it's around the 30 delta. When I was looking at it, it was I think it was the 30 delta. And so the Nasdaq is up just a tiny bit again. And then on the put side, we are selling two. So we're going to the 12, the 12 260. So way down here, 12 260. 38 days ago, everyone. 12 260 where I'm at here. That's here. And then we were buying the 12 160 so this is a 100 point wide spread and we were doing two of these so the max you can lose on the call side is like 200 you can see that just by doing this we're already getting 230 so if you do two contracts here and you're going to get 390 and the buying power effect could be insignificant like this one um, so i like this trade and the way i would do this trade is i would first you have to do it in two two trades here on the thinkorswim excuse me on the tastyworks platform the thinkorswim platform you can do it as one so i'm going to do it as i'm going to actually do this trade um and i'm going to take it in i'm going to do the call side first and that's and let's see if we get filled on that so we got filled right away on that and now i'm going to do the put side i'm going to do two on the put side so we were at on the put side we were at the 12 260 so i'm going to do this as fast as i can here so 12 260 and i don't know why i'm off there so 12 260 where is that at it's here and we're going to buy the we're going to buy the 12 160 and i'm going to double check those those are correct i'm going to hit two here and then i'm going to send this and they're not going to fill me right away not this time and i'm going to drop this down to eight and we should still get what we need let's see if they fill us at eight and no love man they're gonna make us drop all the way down to one seven seventy five but i want to get filled on it and it's going up so we're going to drop that there and we're going to send it and we're going to get filled right away so we got a little slippage there but that's just fine let me show you what that looks like on the history here and we type in this four slash in queue just for today and um we took off some stuff so let's see that's to just do what we were just looking at that's two um sold two bought two bought 
one. So this is what we're looking at here, just highlighted here. So you can see that we have 374 is what we, is the cash that we received minus the, let me see here, excuse me, 374 minus the 15 minus the, let's just say six, and we got 353 is what we received in this. This right here is a trade that I took off earlier that I sent over in Telegram. All right, so this is, this is the, I don't know why that's doing that, but anyway, that, this is the trade here. Let me try to see if I can change that back. Okay, perfect. So, um, and we looking at corn here, everyone, looking at corn, corn is down more now. It's down as lows of the day. I think the low, let's check out the low here on corn. Um, what I'm looking at is this column please, here. Please, could you, vertical. sorry, could you yes, show us that NQ um, positions again? Um, the call and the puts positions on NQ that you just. Just just did, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's, it's 38 days to go. Mm -hmm. We sold, this is a no upside risk iron condor MM. We sold the 14,100, we bought the 14,110, and that's that was around the 30 delta, it's a 29 delta right now. And then on the put side, we had to do, we, we did this first, uh, and I know you're on the Tastyworks platform, so we sold this one first, okay? Yeah. And then we went in for the second trade, and we sold the 12,260, two of those okay. and at the same time obviously did we did a put spread and and bought the 12160 do it did two contracts of those okay 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 perfect so and then um we we are uh we did we're not going to hedge this i think it's a, it's fine already with the this the the skewed I, do, on the I have a question about the call side um, okay. Normally, you say when we get into the 30 delta, we should adjust. Um, I'm sorry if, if that is not a general rule. So why are you uh, why are you trading so close to 30? So in this in this case in this case, um, MM, it's like how we do a hedge when we when we hedge at a 30 delta. It's we can't lose when we do our hedges at the 30 dollars when we're buying a call spread or we're buying a put spread, mostly buying a put spread. Well, this is a bearish part that we're selling the call spread, but we can't lose on this. So this this right here doesn't it does not um, it doesn't come into play for our delts or risk area. OK, so and you and I say that the red zone starts at 31. And then you can you can make a hit you can make an adjustment there. I usually wait around the 35, but um, in this case you do not have to uh, adjust this. You can let this have max loss on this side because if it does, you're happy because you're one on the trade. And let me show you what I mean. Let me show it in a different way. I know it's gonna it's gonna show what we need where I want to do it here. This is the same concept what I'm about to show everyone. All right, so I just say we sold this right here. And we and we bought that, and then you can see that the max the max loss that we can lose on the call side before we receive the monies is one hundred dollars, everyone. And so we are receiving thirty four dollars. So now the max loss on the call side is sixty six. So if we wanted to really like break even, we just need the sixty six on the call side on the put side. But we're going to get a little over a hundred. So let's just say we decided we were going to sell this here and we were gonna buy 10 points lower, so here, and then that's gonna give us 113. The most we can lose on the call side is 100 before the fees and commissions, as you guys notice. So if I go to this curve view here, and let's see if we can get this to work right. So there we go. All right, so I knew it would work here on this one for some particular reason. So you can see that the, this, this green area is saying it's no way we can lose to the upside. Even though we have this short call spread here, it's, it's no way we can lose because the most we can lose on that call side is $100. We're receiving $113 on this trade. So if it goes up, we're still gonna win. If it goes down, we can win as well, as long as it don't go down past too much, you know, past this strike here. As you can see, this is all this green area is the win zone here. So that's the same kind of concept that we were doing with the with the um, 
with the NQ right now, MM, is that we structured it exact, exactly like this, a no iron cone, no, no upside risk iron condor, but instead of doing one here on this put side, on the put spread part, we did two. We did two here, just to make sure we got a lot more credit. Um, so the most we can lose on the one we did, MM was 200 on the upside, we received about 373 after fees and commissions. So even if it shoots all the way through the call side, right, and we completely lose on the call side, we're still gonna win $173 if we held to expiration. You know we're not gonna do that, but we're gonna still win over $100 by doing the trade. Okay, okay. I got awesome. it, thank you.